China has just destroyed Tesla. When it comes to the EV market, China has become untouchable. Despite the success of Germany, Japan, and the United States as car manufacturers, China has beaten them in the race for EV dominance. Since traditional vehicle sales peaked in 2017, the sales of EVs have risen. In 2022, China controlled 60% of EV purchases worldwide as its EV sales increased by 82%. Despite competing with European countries and the United States, all early adopters of EVs, China has defeated them all. There's more. Chinese car maker BYD sold more electric vehicles than Tesla in Q4 2023. How did China do it? How did it gain the largest market share in the EV industry? These are the top 10 reasons why China is leading in electric vehicle manufacturing. The 10th reason will surprise you and the fifth is selfish. Number 10. Zero hype. Right now, the hype is massively around China and its progress in the EV industry. Chinese EV companies BYD Auto, Tesla China, SAIC GM Yuling, Aeon, and Chang'an Automobile control 50% of the market share in the EV industry. Also, there are five Chinese companies out of eight in the top automobile cell suppliers. However, it wasn't always like this. The hype was around Tesla and the other early entrants in the EV industry. Musk especially used the media to create media attention around Tesla as a leader in the EV industry. This move helped his company enter the California market, and his company's entry into that market made it a national and international company. Rather than take a similar approach and announce itself to the world, China and its companies focused entirely on something else. If you are curious about what they focused on, watch this next reason to find out. Number 9. Experimenting Chinese companies didn't enter the top eight automobile cell suppliers by chance. China has always aimed to have a considerable share of the automotive industry. In the early 2000s, the country's companies tried competing with more established brands to produce traditional vehicles. Unfortunately, while these companies had a robust internal market, they had an unimpressive international presence. Every indication pointed to these companies failing outside of China. The big question was, how would China dominate a saturated market? The country found its answer, electric vehicles. China knew it wasn't the only country interested in this emerging market, and apart from a reason that we'll share at the end of this video, Chinese companies began to experiment. These companies realized that batteries would be 40% of the cost of an electric vehicle. So they began to work on getting resources to make batteries. We'll discuss more of this under another reason. So after getting the resources needed, these companies began to work on batteries that would power different kinds of vehicles. What kind of vehicles, you wonder? Watch reason number eight and everything will be revealed. Number eight, EV Focus. Other companies focus on producing sleek-looking EV vehicles with attention to cars. China took a different route. The companies in the country are focused on buses and bikes. These two vehicles are on two extremes when it comes to battery requirements. The commercial buses are heavier and work for 18 hours a day. So the batteries for these buses had to be bigger, more powerful, and hold a charge. For the bikes, the requirements were different as the batteries had to be smaller and still store energy. These were separate challenges that the companies had to be able to tackle, and they did. The result helped China become the leading battery producer in the world, and we'll expand on this for the next reason. As a result of their knowledge of batteries, China perfected its electric buses. But that's not all. The country began to ship out these buses to the international market. The first set of Chinese electric buses to hit the international electric vehicle market were BYD buses in 2013. In 2015, these buses hit the North American markets as they were sold to the Los Angeles metro system. Also, the company began to sell to South American markets, where it became massively popular. Number 7. Battery Knowledge Other countries in the EV market favor the lithium-nickel-manganese cobalt battery. The reason for this is that when it comes to performance, this type of battery is less susceptible to lower energy density and poor performance in colder temperatures. China has been daring. The country's EV companies prefer to use lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are known to have lower energy density and fail in colder temperatures. 
However, due to their knowledge, these Chinese companies have reduced the energy density gap. To achieve this knowledge of batteries, China did something other countries weren't doing. They found a way to control the resources needed to produce these batteries. So how did China get access to these resources needed? Number 6. Mineral Resources Control a key part of China's dominance of EVs is its control of mineral resources, lithium and cobalt, which are crucial to creating batteries in EVs. To obtain these resources, China has cornered the market for them. China has a great presence in the countries where these resources are prevalent. When we talk about control, let's provide some stats. Currently, China controls 70% of global refining of the minerals necessary for battery manufacturing. It owns 75% of global lithium-ion battery production and 70% of cathode capacity. It also has a large share of battery cell manufacturing capacity, a node, electrolyte production, and battery component manufacturing. With the country's amount of control, it is the leading refinery of battery metals globally. No wonder it produced 10 times as many battery vehicles as Germany in 2022. Controlling crucial resources has allowed China to have a manufacturing cost advantage of perhaps 20 to 25 percent. So with all of this control, China is immune to supply disruptions in the EV market. After all, China is the market. However, all of this would be meaningless without the next reason we are about to discuss. Number 5. The Chinese Economy EVs are expensive, and that's one of the reasons why there isn't such a big market for them. China has found a way to make the prices affordable, as we'll show you later on, but that's just half the job. The other half is that the Chinese economy is strong enough for the citizens to take the risk of using EVs. The country's economy allows EVs to have a robust internal market. The market's confidence provides an added springboard for Chinese EV companies to make a play for the international market. Number 4. Cooperation China is leading the EV industry because of its EV companies. One of China's leading EV brands, BYD, was formerly a battery manufacturer that supplied both Nokia and Motorola. The company improved its technology by acquiring other companies and partnering with others. The company partnered with Daimler and Toyota to improve its car making process and with Foshan Plastics Group on Opto Electronics to improve part of its car's electronics. The company also worked with other Chinese software developers to improve the software used in its vehicles. The same way BYD cooperates with other Chinese brands is how another leading EV company in China, Geely, does the same. The company constantly works to improve its products and with other Chinese software brands to manufacture intelligent EVs. The company acquired Volvo, Lotus, and Australian automatic transmission manufacturer Drivetrain Systems International to improve its vehicles. The cooperation within the Chinese EV ecosystem has translated into growth, pushing the country to become the undisputed leader of EVs globally. Number 3. Eliminating Operational Challenges As great as EVs are for the environment, they require a thriving ecosystem if they're going to gain widespread acceptance. The problem of driving range and charging times make EVs difficult to adopt. China solved this problem by having cities work with Chinese EV producers to produce an operational model to maximize the vehicle's capabilities. These EV producers and cities provided a map of charging stations. However, they didn't stop there. They also provided schedules to help the vehicles get the best charging options. With this, Chinese EV companies had a blueprint of how they would operate in other countries and developed robust after-sales services, and this is the next reason China is leading in electric vehicle manufacturing, which we will show you. Number 2. After-sales service China perfected the after-sales services. People who purchase EVs now get automobile finance, repair, maintenance, charging equipment infrastructure, insurance, trading and dismantling and recycling. With these services, EVs have become more widely used in China. And with the success of this model, Chinese car makers have found what they'll replicate all over the world and maintain dominance. Number 1. Government Support 
China understood it couldn't compete with other countries in the traditional car industry. So the country quickly pivoted into the EV industry. It didn't just stop there. It began to support the EV companies with tax incentives. The country then created the new Energy Vehicle Industry Development Plan 2021 to 2035. On November 2, 2020, to work towards a future where China will have mostly EVs. If this wasn't awesome enough, China introduced a $72.3 billion tax incentive, offering tax breaks for EVs and environmentally friendly vehicles for four years. As much as the country wants to grow Chinese companies, it also extended these tax breaks for foreign companies. Now you can see why China is unarguably the leading country in EV production. Will it lose its position or will it gain more market share? Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.